Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at Psalm 8. When you pray through Psalm 8, you are praying with the angels of God in celebration of both the Christmas miracle of the Incarnation, John 1, verse 14, and the Easter miracle of the Resurrection, Luke 24, verses 6 to 7. When you sing this psalm of praise, you are caught up in the glory of God that transcends all creation, yet has been bestowed upon us, humanity, God's beloved creation. Read Genesis 1, verses 26 to 28. As you meditate upon this psalm throughout the day, I pray that your mind and heart will ponder the mysteries of God revealed to us in Jesus Christ. Colossians 2, verses 2 to 3. Fix your eyes on Jesus through the Psalms. Psalm 8, verses 4 to 6 states, What is man that you take thought of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than God, and you crown him with glory and majesty. You make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. The New Testament authors believe Jesus to be the fulfillment of Psalm 8, quoting this passage in Hebrews chapter 2, verses 6 to 8, and then explaining it in verses 9 to 10. And I quote, But we do see him who was made for a little while lower than the angels, namely Jesus, because of the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and through whom are all things, in bringing many sons to glory, to perfect the author of their salvation through sufferings. Seize the moment and pray Psalm 8, meditating upon Jesus Christ, who represented all of humanity in his life and death. Philippians 2, verses 5 through 11. Jesus did this for us, and I quote, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation, there's that word again, for the sin of the people. Hebrews 2, verse 17. May you cry out in praise to Jesus. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8, verse 9. These psalms are worth praying. Seize the moment.